Today we're going to be watching a video from Jerry Rig Everything. What really happens to used electric car batteries? You might be surprised. Let's see about this. So I have some questions. What happens to the lithium batteries inside of your cell phone at the end of its life? What happens to the lithium batteries inside of your tools? And most importantly, what happens to the lithium batteries inside of electric vehicles? Are they thrown in landfills? Are they recycled? A lot of questions to be answered. Let's get started. Today I'm in Gilbert, Arizona with a company called Lycycle, North America's leading lithium ion battery recycler. They can do the small batteries, but they specialize in the super large EV battery packs. And the process is fascinating. A lot of the batteries you see here on the conveyor belt are intact, but Lycycle does take burn damage and recalled batteries. Basically, batteries in any state can be recycled using this process. Among our selection of batteries today, it looks like we have cell phone batteries, laptop batteries, tool batteries, even some power banks. The biggest battery of all, of course, though, is the electric car battery sitting right here on the conveyor. Electric car batteries weigh thousands of. of pounds. Getting them up and onto the conveyor is a job all by itself. So to prep you for what's happening here, we have the EV battery pack going up the conveyor belt to this funnel right here. The entire funnel, you know, the whole tower, is full of a proprietary liquid with a massive submerged industrial shredder at the bottom. I wonder why it's filled with liquid. I even found an old Nokia battery, a relic from times gone by. See you later, buddy. Hope you end up in an electric vehicle. There are a lot of materials inside the modules. We have the metal casing, we have the plastic interiors that hold all the modules steady, and of course we have the lithium, cobalt, and nickel inside of the batteries themselves. There's a lot to collect. One of the benefits of having the whole battery pack go into the shredder is that no one is required to disassemble the pack. Keeping the human operator safe is probably the most important part. After the batteries are ground up, they go from probably. a charged state to a completely inert state. There is no electricity in the materials after the blender. It's getting kind of loud, but you can see the flowing through here down to a screen where the plastics get vibrated up. To this chute here, where they're dropped down into a recycling bag for further processing. But you're probably not here to see how the plastic is separated from the battery. We're here to see what happens to the lithium, the cobalt, and the other precious metals. After the electric vehicle battery is dropped into the shredder, it gets ground up into small metal flakes, which sink to the bottom of the tank and get conveyored up and out of the liquid like you're seeing here. Coming out of the vibrator, we have aluminum, steel, and copper, and sometimes even some sweet metals that come off the circuit boards, like gold, platinum, and palladium, all collected in bags to be recycled later. With how valuable and useful these internal materials are, no one should be throwing them in a landfill. The way the cobalt and lithium are extracted from that proprietary liquid inside the shredder machine is with something called a filter press. The metal-rich liquid is pumped into the large blue press, and that proprietary liquid is hydraulically squeezed out, leaving behind something called black mass on each of the individual filters. The black mass is what's falling down the chute as each of the filters are shaken, and is what contains all of our coveted elements. The black mass has been valuable enough. I bet this place sucks to work at. Uh, those vibrators alone have got to be just awful to be around. To be called the new gold. It really is the most valuable part of this entire process and what Lycycle is after. It's a vital ingredient in making new batteries. One of the coolest parts about this system is while they are using a ton of water inside, it is a closed loop system and none of that water ever leaves. It's not used up in any of the reactions. There's also no air pollutants in a traditional sense since nothing's being burned. After the batteries have been shredded, sorted, filtered, and pressed, we're left with these three commodities here. We have the middle bag, which is full of plastics that came from floating off the top of the liquid. Then over here, we have the aluminum and copper shred, which sank down to the bottom. And lastly, we have our coveted black mass. 
And this is where we find the cobalt, the lithium, and the nickel. It feels a lot like black mud. The elemental metals can be infinitely recycled and 95% of the batteries that go through this system are collected in one of these three bags. Lithium batteries are extremely recyclable and Lycycle's doing it right here in okay. Arizona. It's like a bunch of forbidden chocolate. News. The batteries are collected here in the United States, recycled here in the United States, and probably made into brand new batteries using this right here in the United States. Super fun seeing this process. I do have to fly home though, so I'm not taking this with me. Right here in Arizona is an above ground lithium mine that's processing batteries instead of earth. It generates 70% less emissions recycling and reusing the battery than it would be if we were mining it straight from the earth the first time around. This Lycycle spoke in Arizona has the ability to process up to 18,000 tons worth of lithium-ion battery material every single year. The black mass will go onto Lycycle's Rochester hub facility in New York, which is currently under construction. The black mass gets processed right back into valuable battery-grade materials like lithium carbonate, nickel sulfate, and cobalt sulfate. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see how that happens. The Rochester yeah, Hub is expected to, to be the happens. largest source of recycled lithium carbonate in North America. At this point in the video, you're probably asking yourself, hey Jerry, but what am I supposed to do with my drawer full of old cell phones and batteries I haven't recycled yet? And I have the answer for you. 89% of the population here in the United States lives within 10 miles of a call to recycle drop-off location. Most often found in Home Depot, Lowe's, Staples, or Office Max, old batteries and cell phones go in and they're shipped to a recycling place just like this, so they can be turned into your next cell phone or next EV. So now if you see someone online suggesting that lithium batteries are thrown into landfills or not recycled, this would be a good video you can share with them. It's a pretty fascinating process. Huge thanks to Lycycle for letting us come tour their massive facility. I learned a lot today and I hope you did as well. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And thanks a ton. Now I want to know, was he paid? Like, is this propaganda? Because obviously that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to mitigate, you know, this stuff caused a lot of heartache and pain to acquire, especially the cobalt from the Congo. So it's nice to see it recycled, but I still want to know, did this guy, and I thought his name was Jack, Zach. I didn't think his name was, I don't think his name is Jerry. I think it's Zach. I still want to know if Lycycle, this company, uh, paid him to come and do this video. He didn't say anything about that. Anyways, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Tell me how you really feel. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Keep an eye off the hill, guys.